Hello everyone, welcome to Probably Connect. So in this video we will learn how to integrate Instagram and Discord. So our use case is pretty simple. When a new media is uploaded in Instagram, it will automatically create a post in Discord. Now Instagram is an awesome social networking site and Discord is an instant messaging platform. So what we are going to do is, we are going to send that data from Instagram to Discord. But there is one minor problem. There is no integration between Instagram and Discord. So in cases like these, we have to bring a third app to properly connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Instagram and Discord. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and at the bottom you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Instagram to Discord. Instagram to Discord. Instagram, okay. Instagram to Discord. Then click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Instagram. Instagram. Okay, so as you can see, we have uh, two choices here. One is uh, the simple Instagram and the other one is uh, Instagram for business. Now I'm going to work with this one, Instagram. While if you're working with Instagram for business, you don't have to worry. The trigger events are basically the same. Okay, so I'm going to select this one, Instagram and the trigger event will be new media posted in my account okay so new media posted in my account is a trigger event so your obvious question is what is a trigger event trigger is basically a if statement it asks a question if the condition is met what should be done for example if a new media is posted in my account then what action should be taken by the system at present there is only one trigger event that is new media posted now in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new media or a new post is posted in my Instagram account. Okay, so just click on connect with Instagram. In the new credentials, just again click on connect with Instagram. Okay, so now public connect is demanding access. Just click on allow. Okay. Excellent, the authorization is successful. Just press OK. OK, so basically we have integrated Instagram to Public Connect. Now usually what happens is after choosing the app and choosing the trigger event, we just copy the webhook URL into the trigger software. But in this case, all we have to do is just click on save and send test request. So when we click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of the recently created Instagram post. So let me take you to Instagram. So as you can see, this is the recently created Instagram post and the title is DJI Mavic Pro. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going back to Public Connect and I'm just going to click on save and send test request. Okay, so as you can see, it is uh, showing the data of the recently created Instagram post. Now the username it is showing it as Honest Review 102. So this is uh, my profile. Let me show you my profile. This is the profile Honest Review 102 and Public Connect has captured that data. And this is the permalink. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to copy this whole URL and open this in a new tab. Okay. So let me do that. Okay. So as you can see, this is the same post, the recently created post. And this is the URL of that post. And the caption is DJI Mavic Pro. And this is the Okay, this is the caption that is DJI Mavic Pro. Excellent. So basically, we have uh, got all the details to send the message in Discord. Now, to send the message in Discord, all you have to do is just click on this plus button. 
Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Discord? Okay, Discord it is. Now in the action event, how about we make it as send channel message? Okay, so just click on connect with Discord. In the new credentials, just again click on connect with Discord. Okay, so I'm going to select my server. So this is the server. Continue. Okay. Okay, so I have given access to Public Connect. Just click on OK. Okay, so when you click on OK, you have two blanks to fill. The webhook ID and the webhook token. So what are these and how I'm going to get this? So to explain you that, all you have to do is uh, in between the trigger window and the action window, you have to just click on this plus button. So first we are going to get the webhook ID and the webhook token. So again in the choose app, how about we make it as Discord. But this time we are going to get the webhook ID and the webhook token. Okay, so now in the action event, how about we make it as get channel webhook. Okay, so just click on connect with Discord. Okay, so in the new credentials, just again click on connect with Discord. Okay. You know the drill, just click on continue enter. Okay. We have given access. Authorization is successful. Okay. Okay, so in the channel, it is showing it as text channels. And when we explore this list, this is the drop down. These are all the channels that is present in my Discord account. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select a particular channel. Let's say red and blue. This is a channel in my Discord account. And this is the webhook associated with this particular channel. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new channel for you to understand it better. I'm going to create a new channel. So I'm just going to click on create a new channel. And the channel name is uh, new Instagram post. Insta Instagram post okay so this is the channel name new Instagram post then click on create channel okay so a new channel called as Instagram post has been created so I'm um, let me go to public connect and since public connect is integrated with discord any variation that is bought in discord will be reflected here so in the drop down you after I refresh it you can expect to find the newly created channel that is new Instagram post so let me see Okay, yes, we do have a newly created channel that is new Instagram post. So we are selecting this. Okay, so as you can see, there is no webhook here. This is because since it is a newly created channel, we didn't create a webhook. So first we are going to create a webhook. So let me go back to my channel. Okay, just click on this gear button. Click this. So this is the settings page of this particular channel. I'm going to go to this part called as integrations. Click this okay so as you can see there is no webhooks that is why it was uh, reflecting zero webhooks so what i'm going to do here is going to click on create webhook okay so we are going to give a name to this webhook i'm going to give the name as uh, flower just a random name that's all flower okay okay so yes we have uh, named the webhook just click on save changes Okay, so a webhook called as flower has been created. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going back to public connect and uh, let me refresh this. So as you can see, you can find the webhook that is flower. Okay, so the channel is a new Instagram post and the webhook is a flower. So when I just click on save and send test request, it will show all the data regarding this webhook. So let me do that. Okay, so the API response is showing all the data that we need. For example, we have the webhook ID. This is the webhook ID. Basically, we have to copy this webhook ID and paste it here. Okay, and also we want the webhook token. So where is our webhook token? So let's have a look. Okay, so yeah, this is our webhook token. This whole thing is our webhook token. So basically, we have to map all this data into uh, this particular window. So let me again just uh, click on connect with Discord. Okay, so this is the recent one. So just click on save. Okay, as you can see, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of this blank is very simple. We are going to create a message from the data that we have received from Instagram via Public Connect. So first of all, uh, we just map the details regarding the webhook ID and the webhook token. So first we will deal with these two. So in the webhook ID, just uh, click on this button. So let me introduce you to this button. This is uh, called as the mapping button. And when we click this, you can find all the data that we have received as API response. So as you can see, this is the ID we want. So we have mapped it. Excellent. Similarly, in the webhook token, just click on this mapping button and just scroll down. 
and uh, we have the token this is the token we want so we have entered the webhook id and we have entered the webhook token now coming to the message so how about we type the message as uh, a new post a new post has been created in instagram and uh, let's uh, map the name of the post and the name of the post is uh, dji mavic pro so we have mapped it and then uh, and this is its perma link okay so this is the link so uh, this was the link perma link okay a new post has been created in instagram and this is the caption dji mavic pro and this is the perma link and coming to this part called as uh, text to speech i'm keeping it as false now the bot name uh, i'm just going to uh, type in the name of my profile that is uh, honest reviews reviews 102 okay now coming to this part called as bot icon i'm just leaving it as empty so basically we have uh, filled sufficient details to uh, send a message in uh, discord so let me just click on save and send test request okay so let's have a look okay so let me remove this okay we do have a message a new post has been created in instagram dj mavic pro and this is its permalink so when we click on this link you can find the recently created post yes this is the recently created post excellent so the presence of uh, this particular message shows that we have successfully integrated instagram and discord with help of public connect so how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not but before we do that let me take you back to public connect to explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to minimize my action window i'm going to minimize this action window and i'm going to minimize this trigger window okay so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated instagram to Pabli connect and then you have used the action window to connect discord to Pabli connect and you have got the channel web and then you have used another action window to connect discord to Pabli connect to send the channel message so now there is a perfect flow of data between instagram and discord so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create one more post in my instagram channel okay so we have uh, made one more post that is uh, samsung phone review this is the recently created post so let's have a look in discord do we have a message concerning the same so i'm refreshing it okay so as you can see we have got the message a new post has been created in instagram samsung phone review and this is its permalink so let's have a look in the link okay so this is our post excellent so our integration is working absolutely fine this means anytime a new post is made in instagram it will be reflected as a message in discord not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using public connect if you have any queries contact us at admin at the rate public.com our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows or better just visit our website www.pabli.com it's awesome thanks